Hi! This video has some information in it that we all need to know in order to make Fortnite a much better and more exciting game. Because we are gonna go against the top players. So tweet it, Facebook it, Instagram it, share with your friends. And we are gonna win. Welcome to my channel, my name is Irax and Lady, and today I'm going to teach you how to win a Fortnite Battle Royale against big players like Ninja, Twenos, Blue Tea the Myth, Ali A. Do you really sound like Ali A? Really? And lots more! Impossible, you say? Well, if it was impossible, they would never lose, would they? So I made this little tutorial to show you what can be done against those players. Let's take it in steps. Because if you go against the top players in the world, you must work really, really hard. But not necessarily the same way they do it. Fortnite is a game like any other game, like football or soccer in America. And you don't have to be a genius to work out that when you are an inexperienced player, you're not going to stand a chance against the top players. But with a clever mindset, you can achieve anything. So I have divided this little tutorial into five points. And then once you've gotten to the fifth point, we have another five subcategories in order for you to get best out of this game because this game trust me is super fun enjoy it so let's start with the most important thing that you need to know step number one you need to be able to defeat at least one person because let's face it even if you get to the end of a game the game is not gonna end until the last one of you is standing so you need to be able to kill at least the last guy in a game Okay, it can happen that all of the players will eliminate themselves and you end up being a winner. But you're going against the top players and they are most likely not going to make silly mistakes like that, are they? Or are they? So you need to work on your aiming and your reaction. And the best way to do that is to go to Tilted Towers, land at a random place, get a random gun and shoot as many as you can, as accurate as you can. This will teach you how to maneuver your fingers and do it accurately. Try different guns, grenades, traps and find what suits you best. These games won't last long, but that's not the point. The point is that you learn. This will take time, so have patience and enjoy your failures. Number two, know your enemy. Okay, sure, there is not enough time to ponder and wonder about what enemy is like in front of you when they start shooting you and all you could care about is how to save your dear button. In this case, you should either run and hide really quickly or fight back with all of your might. But in general, do you know your enemy? What do all of the top players have in common? You guessed it, all top players have the same traits. They're alert, they're accurate and they build really well. But they're also very aggressive. Run for any noise they hear, because their idea of a good gameplay is the kill count. Let's be honest. You usually see them building really tall and really high, really fast, and then they will be hopping across the fields like bunny rabbits swapping their guns, making a lot of noise. So how do you beat that? To be honest, you need to be completely the opposite. That will throw the gameplay like anything. And that's exactly what you need. Number three, be patient. How many times have I heard my friends say, how can I be patient when they're shooting at me? Or the game gave me some potions and they got the shotgun. What chance did I have? True, but how did you get to that situation in the first place? Yes, you need to be lucky at times when you first land onto the map. But let's face it, I have landed in the middle of nowhere because everyone else has taken everything and I've still won a game. So it's doable. You just need to work with what you have. And if it's just a pistol with 10 bullets to last you to the end of the game, so be it. 10 bullets is enough to kill one person. But the main thing with the patience is you don't play this game on your own. You play against 99 other players. And to my knowledge, the record kill count on PC, by the way, is something about 40 kills. So where do the other 59 go? I wonder. And let's be honest, if you're a casual occasional player who turns a console on every now and then, 
you would probably have one or two kills a game and that's a really good game. So how do you expect to kill those 99 people that go in with you? The answer is you don't and you won't. Quite often when I land there's half the people gone already by the time I have landed which means the other people are killing other people. They are your tool. Use it to your advantage. Let the other people kill the other people. Same way you would use the traps. And if you have only a few people left in your game and you see someone running right past you without even noticing you, the chances are that he is going to do either a lot of damage to those guys or kill them all by accident. And you then will have a really easy task of killing that random person who can't even see you. So remember, when you see another player in a shooting range, ask yourself, is it worth killing it? Because where's one, there's another. And maybe third and fourth and fifth. Who knows, maybe all of the 99 people are right there with you. You never know. So choose your battles wisely and only shoot when you either really have to or when you are 100% sure that you can get them down and there's no one else there to get you down afterwards. Number four, wait it out. This actually is a part of a point three, but I add it here separately for one reason. And that reason is the main reason why you are going to win. Let the 99 people to kill each other. They are your ultimate weapon. Lay down your traps and avoid as much battle as you can until there's only two people left. You and the enemy. And since it's only one person left, it's probably the best of them all, or luckiest, whichever it happens to be. Because top players make mistakes too, don't forget that. Number five, prepare for the battle. So there's only you and another one left. This part of the game is the part of the game that I enjoy the most because you will need steel nerves and it's kind of a cat and mouse game. Who will break first? And the one with better nerves usually wins. So let's go back to the point two where you need to know your enemy. Your enemy is most likely to be a highly aggressive player who builds a lot, shoots really accurately and who comes looking for you. So what do you do in that situation? So you have a second or two, analyze the situation. So let's put it out in some steps, what to do next. Number one, you should get to top two in a way where the enemy does not know where you are. That's the key to your success. That's the number one thing. Number two, make sure you know where your enemy is at all times, but they can't know where you are. That's a difficult one. Number three, choose the right weapon. So many times I lost a battle because I simply have chosen a wrong weapon for the job, but you only learn by trying to do it. So you will probably have quite a few second places and that's a good thing, right? Second is not bad at all. Number four, if you are unsure, wait it out. You don't need to storm after them. They, trust me, they will come after you. They will find you, but maybe you can pop them just before they find you. Take them by surprise. Just wait it out until the last moment. Number five, as I said, let the enemy to come to you. They're predators, they're aggressive players, they're hunters. They want to kill you. They want to find you. They want to win and get that final kill. That's what they want. Unless, of course, their skills are only effective when they're building. Well, you know what to do then, don't you? They build high up, you chop it down. Simple. And if they don't go high up and just hide, let the circle to get as small as possible. Because then they can't run, can they? And when they come to you, make sure you know which direction they're coming from. Have appropriate weapon ready to be swapped, but don't swap it when they're next to you. They will hear you. Honestly, they will hear everything you do. Don't even move, don't even breathe. Just wait it out. Be ready, and when they pop their head out, just shoot them. Just shoot them with a gun that does the most damage, that you're most comfortable with, and does the most damage with one shot. That's the best weapon. So here's your five points and five sub points. That is pretty much everything you need to know to begin with to start getting wins against the top players. I'm planning to add Snooping 101 videos on YouTube. I need your help with this because with your help, with your promotion, with your cooperation, I can actually have more time to concentrate on really good videos and find you the best tips in how to be hidden, how not to be seen and how to appear behind your enemies 
back when they least expect it. Because that's what I'm good at. And I love people who can absolutely outsmart me. This is what makes this game so exciting for me. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give a like. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I do have a website as well where I put all of my YouTube videos up, iroxanlady.com and lots of other things, so go and check that out as well. I'm traditionally making two videos a week, but I will try to post more videos on my website, like blogs and after scenes, all free to watch. Just come and check it out. And thank you so much for watching, and bye bye